Hello everyone, welcome to the Alpha Las Vegas Open here in the Rio All Suites and Hotel run by Predator and CSI. Our next match for today is a great last 16 matchup between the Iceman, Mika Eminen and Bader Alawadi. In the commentary booth for this one, we have Mark White and myself, Tim de Ruiter. Hi Mark. Hello again, Tim. It uh, must be about 15 minutes since we saw each other in the last match and just want to mention talking about the last match David al and Victor Zelensky are still going at it they're one set all and Zelensky's 3-1 up in the deciding set unbelievable match there yeah, right must, must be a cracker too yeah hopefully this one's going to be exciting as well the last one was Filler is out Chang through yeah so we have Already one quarter final already. Shane van Boning and Quoc Huang Dong from Vietnam. I really try my best. Yeah, he beat Ko Pin Yi two straight sets after Ko Pin Yi had knocked out Shane van Boning. Uh, st uh, Fed sorry, Gorst. Fedor Gorst. Yeah. No, which is like which are really big results in a row. So yeah. good yeah. stuff happening at the moment and. Great break to start with, too. Just playing maybe to get a little bump on the four exactly. Oh, yeah. nicely played. Well, as we know, Tim, this guy has had success in one of these before. Where was it? It was in uh, Michigan. Uh, no, in the Wisconsin. Wisconsin Open. He played a final with Alex Kazakis. And they went all the way to the shootout. And unfortunately... I think the pressure got a little bit a hold of him, but it was his first time really breaking through in an international event. So, yeah, he's no stranger to the format. He's, as far as I know, he's played almost every single event of those. Yeah, super nice guy as well. Normally has his good friend Mohammed Al Youssef by his side, but Mohammed never made it for Ab whatever Abdullah, reason. Abdullah Al Youssef. Abdullah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately couldn't make it this time. I think something happened. Seen he forfeited his two matches, so I don't think he was here. Yeah, they're normally inseparable. A bit like the the Kuwaiti version of Francisco Sanchez Ruiz and David al -Qaedi. They're rarely apart. Oh, good, good Beautiful shot there. Beautiful shot. Play good Great speed. Weight, Re yeah. Really had to play the speed to hold the cue ball right there and good recovery shot. Oh, oh. yeah, we've had a few players do that. He just banged his cue on the leg of the table. Don't do that, Bader. Those those legs are uh them scratched. Yeah, and then this stem ball to take the early lead in this match. Yeah, very nice start. Knocked out Dennis Grabet in the last round. Yeah, and Mika Immonen, he beat Tyler Steyer 2-0 in sets. Referee Dwayne Payne breaking the balls for Badr Alawadi to break him. And I gotta say, even though the last match they were breaking a lot from the side rail, I've seen so many good results from the center this tournament. Yeah, he also beat another American, Payne McBride, the youngster, in an earlier round. Good player, good to watch, and as you saw there, he doesn't hang around, Tim. No, he's not a slow player at all. When he gets going, he likes to get some pace going on. Same with Mika, he's also not a slow player, likes to really get going. So we'll definitely make a good match here. Yeah, and after this, we will be down to our final eight. Well, 
made a one in the side. There's a two ball going to end up. Oh, just caught a little flick of the six and turned behind it. So he made the one straight in the side and then the two ball got wild. Yeah, then again, most difficult spot is where the if the two ball is in front of the pocket and you have to play the push out. Took the seven ball away. I think he left it to go two rails behind the two ball. Sticking the cue ball behind the six and sending the two ball down table behind the four, eight, ten. There is not much room in between the rail and the two ball though, so I think it's a little difficult. I would not be surprised if Mika would give it back, but he favors himself in this position. Caught it thin first of all, meant to catch it just off the back rail, but just caught it on the way through. Yeah, hit it twice, yeah. Was that a foul? <laughs> no. <laughs> there you saw, just faintly clipped it, didn't he, on the way through to the rail. Very emotional player, Mika. Expect lots of hand gestures and grimaces and well, he, such. He is a perfectionist. And also, what does not help him out is he has reached perfection in his career. So then, at some point, you will always strive, you will always go for that, that same feeling. Let's call this extension. Measuring here. It's looking to go over the left long rail. I would rather go over the right long rail. It's going to go in between the nine and the six. And oh, good hit. Is that six ball come into play? No. And how's your luck? Not very good. He's even left him the angle to get over for the three as well with these. Yeah, that's why I was surprised that he was kicking over the left side because if he would have somewhat full hit on the two he was going to send the two ball to an uh, empty space on the whole right side of the table. Yeah, still that five ball could be some trouble for Butter. This is a nice shot. Four passes to seven. Got to dig down here, though. Well, I think he just follows up oh for yes five in the can. top left yeah. corner. Sorry, yeah. Ooh. I was just worried about that eight ball. That's why, Tim. Yeah, now queuing over the ten ball. Looking at the time. Was a little worried. Still got 20 seconds left, so... Enough time to prepare for this five ball in the top left corner. Yeah. Yeah, he moved on the shot there as well, changed his mind. So good job that went off because it gives him time to reset. Going for this at the top corner, Tim, is he? Yeah, just Perfect. like that. Oh. Nice yeah. shot. Yeah, beautiful shot. Didn't even hesitate to play it soft. He just felt comfortable by punching the ball. I have to shoot this a little softer, though. Center of the table is needed. Oh, he plays two rails. Stroking the old ball beautifully. Yeah, he really, he doesn't really like to play the ball soft. I would drop that six ball in with soft pace and he... Oh, I think he was trying movement, to stop yeah. the cue ball there. Yeah. 
Just a bit of movement, played slightly across it there. So going to the other side of the nine, cutting it in the side, no. To the corner and taking a long shot on the nine. Big shot here. Uh, this will show us how the nerves are right now. Oh, got that cue all the way through. Just caught a point, unlucky. Look at this, look, look at that cue. I ended up by the middle pockets. Yeah, we'll have to settle down with a tough cut on the 10 ball. Overcut it. Yeah. Where's well, the cue ball going? Always oh. better to thin than to thick, of course. But small chance for Mika Imanen. Can either go for the cut and then in case you miss it the same way. Also, it does happen quite often where you hit a little bit too thick and it bounces back off the point from the corner. Well, we oh. missed it all together on the way there. Needs if a little luck. Needs a little luck get to the short rail and no. No, no luck. <laughs> Two zero. Mika frustrated. We'll go for a short one minute break. We'll be right back for you guys. Welcome back okay. to this match between Beda Al Wahadi and Mika Imminent. And Mika just feeling a little bit frustrated there. Needs to keep his calm. Needs to be live up to his name, the Iceman. Stay cool. Wow, what a break that was. Yeah, big spread of the balls. Five ball. Yeah, a lot of movement on the balls there, and a little bit unfortunate. Don't think he's got a shot on the one. Don't think there is something nice with the 210. Got some breaking news for you guys as we look at Baydar breaking. The reigning champion, Viktor Zelensky, is through to the next round. He's defeated David Alcady two sets to one. Yeah, very impressive. It's not easy to be a defending champion and then still get to the quarterfinals the next year after. And he will play Chang Jung Lin in the next round, who's just knocked out Josh Villa. So that's going to be a huge match. And what about the other one? Shane Van Boning versus Duong Quoc Hong from Vietnam, that's going to be a fabulous match as well. Mouth-watering. Oh, is there a gap? I think there is, and he's also left the angle, the angle to open up the two. Oh, Bother is not even bothered by 
Is he thinking of the carom, the billiard? Yeah. It is there, but he's got such a nice angle to bump the two open. Perfect. I'm impressed with him these first couple of racks, Tim, aren't you? Yeah, it's looking pretty comfortable. Yeah, only made one mistake so far, and that was missing the 10 ball. Besides that, it's been looking pretty strong. layout here go two rails to the eight float the eight in the left side pocket and then go two rails with the nine to the ten ball good yeah just float the able in maybe follow up a ball oh he went a little bit further trying to be straight with a small angle and if he plays draw he might go towards the 10 so he's follow with a hair of left wow loves to hit the ball Very confident. And then this stem ball to get on the hill in the first set. And he certainly is. Very, very quickly as well. Yeah, very good start from Badr Alawadi. Yeah, we also have the women's Las Vegas Open going on at the same time as well. Jasmine Ocean in action against Joanne Mason Parker. Jasmine is 3-2 ahead in that one earlier on. Kelly Fisher went through in straight sets as did Margaret Fefilova. And Chow Che Yu is opening her account against Amber Chen. And Amber Chen is 3-1 up in that one at the moment. And Wei Ju Chen, Wei Wei, is up against the brilliant, the very, very talented Korean Wu Jin Lee. Wei Wei leads 3 1 in that. Oh, that was a nice little oh, double kiss. Where's the cue ball going? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh and yes. look at this. Mika might go for a 2 10 combo straight away. Yeah, could do. Got a lovely little. Kiss on the one there with the nine, but yeah, he just he miss hit the one a little bit. If you look at where the cue ball went straight after hitting okay. the one, and called the ten ball. Yeah, this could be good for Mika. You see what he how he did that? Left his cue there while he grabbed the cue ball on the line of the shot. Oh, it seems it goes, to work. Yeah. A nice early. 10 there for Mika, that will make him feel a lot better. Interesting system he used there, Tim. Yeah, he just determined the line of the shot first and then to put the cue ball on that line, which usually players do the other way around. They yeah. put the cue ball and then they determine the line, but he just probably feels that if he does it the, the other way, that he's probably still a little bit guessing about a little bit thinner, a little bit thicker. That's an interesting system. Pool players all over the globe will be trying that tonight in their league matches and little tournaments coming up. Mm. 
Mika breaking from the same spot, seems to be working. Did overcut the one by quite a bit, but cannot really <laughs> complain about the outcome. Okay, the four and the seven. Sanjin Palavanovic and Wu Kunlin are on table two if you fancy watching that one. And any of the other games going on at the moment, you can see on tv.kazoom.com. Go there, register and follow the instructions. Hit that one a little soft. Would have liked to have the three balls and the two in between the one to take away the jump. Not an easy jump, but if he hits this with quite some speed, the one ball will come back down and he might get lucky if he doesn't make it. It must help a little bit when you are on when you can bridge on the rail, Tim, does it? Yes. Gives yes. you that extra bit of height, right? Yeah, it's easier to get that air. Great jump, but just not quite accurate enough. And this is going to be on for Mika. And a nice draw off the side rail. We'll give him position on the two as well. Just nudging that six out of the way. Yeah, that three ball is still a little bit tricky, though. Stun left. No. Followed it for the two in the side. Interesting shot, played it this way to create the angle so he could run into the 310. So he will be disturbing some balls here. Ooh, oh, missed them, and that's because he overcut it. Was he trying to miss them? I think he was. I think he was trying to get on the bottom to. Shoot the three in the top corner. Yeah, might have been a little bit too short for the cut in the side, so it looked a little bit easier maybe than it was. And well, there are the frustrations of every pool player in the land, all shown on that one little piece of videotape. Mika imminent desperately. Unhappy. Whoa. Wow, look at the draw. Super on that. draw on that. And everything has worked out really nicely. That 10 ball could have easily went together with the 8. And well. That's just rubbing salt in the wound. Look at this. Tremendous shot. Oh, just, just cut past that. Could just have been got there. there. Could have been tricky over the top of the 9. Maybe. It's all right. Maybe a little nerves. These last three balls to take the first set in super quick time as well. And I've really enjoyed this first set. Really like his tempo around the table. Good rhythm. Yeah, and this stem ball to take the first set. Wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if Mika took a break here. No, just to hold down the momentum a little bit. Butter Butter Alawadi takes a first set and we'll go for a short break and after we'll continue with set number two.
we are back here with the Alpha Las Vegas Open. Mika Immonen ready to start off in set number two. He's got the break because Alawadi started off in the first set by breaking. Oh. Just left a shot on the one, but it's a long one. Frustration just compounding with a, a dry break, nice and open. And if he can knock this one in somehow, yeah, I mean, there is a, a will be difficult. nice safety shot. I was going to say, it will be difficult to make the one and still get on the two. Has to maneuver in between the three for eight. Mm -hmm. If he bumps the four, he's still okay to get on the two, but. Wow. It's a long way off on that. Quite some body movement, and well, I think he's got fortunate there. Well, he's got a good shot, though. He can kick one rail, send the one ball up to the short rail, and also has the bonus to get behind the three, seven, eight. It's called the ten ball. Set in case the cue ball flies into the ten. Oh. Let's call his extension last last second. <coughs> I do like this though. Good chance to get safe and you might slip in the ten ball. Played it nicely. He's got it safe. Fish could be in trouble after this shot, though. Yeah, at least he's got the conservative safe. There's a little smile. There it is. You've got a lovely smile, Mika. We want to see more of it. Yeah. Not the toughest of shots to get safe. But putting that one ball just next to that nine, that is causing problems. It's not easy to go by using any rails, so he's going airborne. Might have called the six ball there. I think he did, yeah. Watch the scratch. on two passes the nine as well by the looks of it it's a chance then early in the second set it's quite straight on the one ball though really has to punch the cue ball to get it off the rail nice Just stroke like that. <laughs> Just that Seven, eight could be a little troubling. Might be able to open up the eight, seven with the four and still be able to see the five. But it gets a little scrappy from there. Not many options. Not much to do with the seven here. Good for the short side. Jasmine Ocean on the women's event has won the first set against American Joanne Mason Parker. So I can just roll this through for the five. A little straight on the five ball. Not sure if he can get a nice angle on the six. 
little facial expression. He might, might just follow, play the safety on the six. Especially with the safe seven eight on there as well. Oh, what has he done? What's he done there? Yeah. Put quite a big, big stroke, stroke on there. Big stroke, yeah, absolutely. And the audience go, oh. Well, would have, we would have expected that too. I mean, quite it's very unexpected. rare you see a pro follow yeah. a cue ball straight after a ball. Well, this six ball is also the key shot, so nice to have ball and hand on it. it we'll need a good shot. Stroke. Is he gonna get on the seven to the side? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Great effort. One more good shot on the seven. Just like that. It's easy maker, come on. This will make him feel a hundred times better than he felt a rack ago. So first rack on the board for Mika Eminen in this second set. He needs to get something going. It's only best of three sets here. trying to copy the break from Butter on this table or at least the last time I seen him break and not too sure about that strategy yeah, Mika sitting there beat Polish player Mateusz Schnigocki earlier on before Tyler Steyer Now breaking from the side rail. Did change. And oh, there you go. Two balls on the break. And oh, that two ball. Ruining the party. Just look at this. One ball goes in, four ball goes in. And then that two ball is hugging the nine almost. Safety here. Oh, that's, that's not very short, good. Yeah. That's not very good. Yeah, so the opportunity for Butter to level the score here. Five ball, and I think he's hooked himself. I cannot believe he got that far. Put too much stroke in there. Well, I don't think that goes. He's looking at the jump because it's just that small little edge. Took a piece off his jump cue. Well, I got close and... Not safe, is he? Yeah, I don't think that three ball goes unless Mika is going to try and cheat the top left corner pocket. 
Mika will tell us. Can't play it off the seven, can he? Or is it too far away, the seven? Oh, he, he could. Probably will need a little bit more speed on the three ball to do that. So then the there's no two way. There's no, let's see if I can cheat the pocket and in case I hit it bad, get off the seven. That three ball did notch the six ball first and he has sold out for Badr Alawadi. Mika Imanen is in serious trouble here. Oh, he looks a little straight on this five ball. Might have to shoot this to the corner pocket. Looks like he's playing to the corner. Yep. Just top spin will work. It's a nice bit of camera work. The camera followed it all the way down the rail. I like that. Yeah, and Butter, who already had the chance on the two ball and then hooked himself, now gets the opportunity to gain even more momentum. This will be 1-1. One, one. Oh, he lifted up on that. Used all of the bucket there. Yeah, so maybe some nerves. No problem. Nicely played this temple to level it up and be breaking in the next. Yeah, and there it goes, one each. Stole that rack and... Oh, he's taking a break. Butter is going for a short break. So we'll go to a couple highlights from a couple days ago. We'll be right back. He, yeah, I know, but he didn't even hit before. I thought he was going to yeah. hit before, but he hit the one side. Back. Yeah. He's in that one rail. That's right. Okay. Oh, beautifully played. Didn't see him call anything. Oh, and he has got it. He's got it. He did call it. We'll soon find out. He has. He's called the 10. He's called the 10. He's got the 10. What a shot. Straight in and around. Look around at this, look world. at this. He's going to get right on the threes. He nudged the three out over the side. He's perfect. See? Yep, there you go. Nice shot. I think you misconstrued, George. Look oh, again. look at They're this for a shot. Beautiful shot. Or yeah. the combo, either one. Yeah. Depends where he ends up. He makes the bank. Very hangable, too. Oh, what a cut that was. Again, this is a lot of power in this. Oh, how good did he hit that? Brilliant. For real. Oh, my, what a wow, shot. That was a hell of a shot right there. Hell of a shot what a right shot. There. Shot him completely out. I like and that shot. It, yeah, I like that shot. shot. How he hit this <laughs> one. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very well executed. Look at that. Wow. The nine in the same pocket or something of the opposite right there. How well does this kid bank? Skyler? Yeah. He's banked it in. There you saw a clip of last year and our reigning champion Victor Zelensky and he 
is still in. He wants to win it again, I can tell you. He's into the quarter final. And he will be playing. Who will he be playing? Do we know yet? I think we do. Caught a glimpse there, Tim, of the huge event convention centre here at the rear all suites. And we have the league, the BCA league and the USA pool league championships going on. And it's team's day and it's really, really buzzing. Really cannot describe the this event. It's it really is it's billed as the greatest experience on earth and, and I think it is for billiard wise. It's just incredible. Yeah, I don't really see any other events than this. Of course the Derby City Classic has always been very big, also a lot of fans, a lot of spectators. But it's in a different way. Here we got everything together in one room and not just one building so i think that's quite special yeah and this is a family a real family affair isn't it you know you've got children mums dads families coming all on Teams holiday is great yeah. yeah holiday really is a holiday atmosphere so beta breaking off then he's been breaking pretty well as we've seen so far quarterfinals coming up later this evening 7 p.m. local time Butter sticking with the same break and unsuccessfully so if you look from it the, the spot where he's breaking from right now that one ball does come up high too often so, so what do you do so either he has to cut the break a little bit get the cue ball to the long rail or move the cue ball around unless he is trying to make a different ball but i wouldn't know from the side which other ball is like a usual suspect oh well beta will be jumping this for sure yeah, wasn't trying to hit the point, but on the other side, I think he must be happy to hit the point because otherwise it would be a long one ball for Bader. I think he was actually trying to draw into the four there to hold the cue ball behind the six, but just misjudged it slightly. Mika doesn't want to watch. He might want to see this though. Well, we well, might not. <laughs> oh dear. Sarcastic tap on the table, I think, from Mika there. Yeah, it just feels that he's not getting any run of the balls. I mean, this what it is. He's going for the jump cue now. Might be a little bit of, of an impulsive decision. Like, oh, I cannot get lucky. I'm just going to go for it. He could still just kick and send the one ball up table. So, not too sure. Of course, as long as he makes it. Might change his mind here. Well, didn't even get airborne. Ball in hand for Badr Alawadi. After hitting the rail, always running towards the two. Not crazy much to do. Top spin for the three in the side. Needs to go a little bit though. Too short, and now stun left to the side rail to the short rail here. Oh, he played two rails with inside. Doesn't want to get straight though, does not want to get straight. And 
mini angle to work with. Loaded up with so a lot much of spin on that. Yeah, inside spin. And now I feel he's going to play two rails to around the kitchen line. Oh, you decide to play this with draw, and I'm not sure if. Got there. That was a risky way of playing it. Oh, he dropped down really fast, so I guess he got there. <coughs> yeah, shooting really quick at the moment. Must be feeling good. And cracking the balls into the back of the pockets as well. It's not like he's rolling anything, is it? No, he doesn't really like to play all the, the soft speed. We'll play the soft speed here, though, for the short side of the nine. Yeah, left a good angle on the nine to stun back down table for the ten. To take the lead again, Badr al -Awadi. Yeah, this is perfect once again. Things looking ominous for imminent. Yeah. Tim giving a round of applause of his own in the booth here, tapping his leg. Well, he's been really shooting tough shots too. Like it's not just like he's having easy bumpers. It's he's been working hard to run out all the time. one up and yeah, it just really feels like all the momentum is with butter when he misses a shot he doesn't really give much for Mika and then Mika plays a couple okay shots and then sells out Zolnoki sorry to interrupt you I thought you'd finish there mate I'm sorry about that and then all of body would run out okay go ahead Zolnoki two one up against Daniel Masial Pelovanovic and Wu are just starting and also Max Lechner 2-1 up against Vitali Patsura ready to break off Bader looking to make a ball maybe the one will he make the one this time oh nearly yeah, came up a little bit too high again and well open chance for Mika 1-2-3 connected 4-5 and five next to it I mean doesn't have to go back and forth, so that's already a good plus. Yeah, it's six to seven, and then all his work is down the other end. Just he's queuing over the three ball to cut the one ball in. So it's a little awkward queuing. Overdone it. Yeah, and I think he's left it on as well. Quite disappointed there. Painful, isn't it? You feel for them. It's also what the game does to you sometimes. You just can get you so out of stroke and you just feel so lost. But the crazy the thing is, the next day or even the next, the same night, you're back out doing it all again, practicing yep. for the next one. It's a love hate relationship with Paul. Just this one more difficult shot. Places with top spin, get to the center of the table. Just needs to make the three. And I'll be perfect on the four. Yeah, 
No. Oh, but he's hooked him. More misery for imminent. Yeah, brought both cues. Might have to jump. Yeah, I don't mind jumping this. Drop this cue. Just mind our LED panels make up. Tough jump. Okay, good hit and has he had a bit of luck? He deserves a bit. Give him a bit of luck, come on. Well, oh. the way he's turned around, I don't think he's got it. To me it didn't look too bad. Okay. Right? No, it's just not yeah, he's probably disappointed because butter will just easily run up on the eight. Just like, yeah, it's, it was an easy safety, I understand. But on the other side, he could have also left an open shot and run out. So at least you get back to the table, Mika. Might be able to go two rails, short rail, long rail. In case you don't make it, good chance to get safe. Oh, and scratch off the back of it. Things are just not going his way. And ball in hand for Bala Adawadi. I mean, okay, it's a little bit unlucky, but you would expect it coming down that side of it, Tim. Yeah, well, if he catches it maybe one-fifth thicker, then he will not scratch. And then he also still has a good chance to get it safe. So it's like, it's a little you know, no, love-hate relationship. It's a game of yeah. millimeters, isn't it, as we say in Europe? Or fractions of inches can make all the difference in this game. And if he can run out here. <laughs> just make, just, just checking if he up. has <laughs> the extension. <laughs> Dwayne goes, yeah, you got it. No, 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 I don't want it, I don't want it. But that also shows how comfortable he is right now because he's open to have conversations and he's, he looks relaxed to me. Well, he did. Wow. Now then, Mika. Yeah, quite surprised here that he had missed that. Also felt like he played it with a little stun run instead of just floating the cue ball up. He really doesn't like to float the balls. And oh, I think he might be just enough not to be queuing over that nine ball but you can see he's not in a comfortable spot he just feels everything is tricky and well it might be oh, fast where's the cue ball it's going be fast where's oh. the cue ball gone oh no the same comedy of errors this at the moment oh look at that oh, oh good shot what a great effort from Mika there we have a saying comedy of errors but not in a funny way of course it's very very frustrating don't think he's left it though Tim is he not to the side I think he might be able to bank this I like this hit it straight in the face and then with stun left and you kind of press the cue ball it's not like you hit the ball you kind of really push the cue ball so the spin really transfers he's got an easy hook on here though hasn't he down behind the 10 he can just twist it down off the, the eight can't he well it depends if there's enough room between the rail and the 10 ball to crawl behind the 10 and i'm not sure if he has enough he might be 
she's still cutting does it it doesn't cut to the side well he called the 10 ball so he's playing the eight to the short rail and the 10 ball from the back in the corner trying to leave some distance and well it's bounced out a little bit Mika will be shooting at this Is he saying that? I have no idea. But the time is running, so he has no time to to be focused on different stuff. Having a torrid time at the moment. A shot this I is think what a shot this is if it runs is it run oh no. it's going for the jump cue just barely but then again it's just such a small jump yeah nowadays p players jump so well that you will favor him to make it he's got plenty of time doesn't have to rush oh, oh there he oh, goes there beautiful goes. shot from butter alawadi perfect position on the 10 ball Could say he put it right on the right spot. Perfect. On the hill then, Beda Alawadi against Mika Imminent. Okay. Yeah, just, just Mika just pointing out that started the clock too early. And Beda was already or still at the table walking around. But I think it's just a culmination of lots of different things that have gone wrong in this match so far. So referee just explaining to wait until the player has left the table before you start the shot clock for the incoming player. Yeah, and with butter on the hill, will be very tough for Mika to still get back into it, it with how he's feeling as well. Zolnoki has taken the first set against Daniel Masiao. Crushing break, but then again, that breaking spot has not been working too great for him most of the time. and. Well, this is a chance for Mika. Yeah, if, as long as he can avoid the seven ball. I think it's a bit thinner than that, Tim. I think he can get past the seven. Yeah, I'm just wondering if you go hit the short reel and then you bump the seven ball, maybe. That's, it might be that close. Well, he got nowhere near it. And he is disgusted by himself so far. It's not the performance he knows he can give. And I know, you know, your opponent can get good luck, but a lot of this is self-inflicted because he's had his chances, just hasn't taken them, has he? Yeah, I mean, I've seen him play way better than this, and... Yeah, I cannot really smooth talk it either. Like it, yeah, it is what it is sometimes in pool. There is going to be matches where you don't get to your game, and this one is certainly one of those matches for him. Yeah, and just off the back of a win over an informed Tyler Steyer as well, you know, that was a good win, and it took a lot out of him. Must have been really looking forward to this and then to come out and not perform. That's the hard part. Yeah, I know. He's always joining all the Pro Beard Series events and he's come pretty far. I think he's, he's had a couple. Semi-finals, couple yeah, of semi-finals. Semi-final, yeah. quarter-final. So 
he knows it's it's getting close to where you no know, he might win one of those events and just every wow. time there's this one match where yeah he just doesn't get there if you catch a little break there if you just get someone that has that same day now he's in the quarterfinal semi-final and yeah i remember i think it was ohio when he got quite far and took a divot out of the carpet do you remember that <laughs> the golf shot that was funny wasn't it <laughs> so the six ball to the top left corner yeah, it looks like he's queuing just so comfortable so yeah, well, he's got a little wrong angle on the seven, but I think he can still draw back and get straight on the eight. It's just smooth and soft. Yeah, early on in the match, he was just stroking these in, not even thinking twice about it. Well, he's cutting to the side just to make sure he gets something on the eight. Would have liked to play a little bit more spin, maybe, but just to widen the angle away from the eight slightly yeah now i would not want to run into the 10 if he oh he was not even close so it's perfect on the nine and this is done it is now that's good says mika and yeah. shakes the hand like the gentleman he is it's Bader al wahadi who will go through to tonight's quarterfinals yeah, good, good performance from Badr al -Awadi. And this was Mark White and myself, Tim de Ruiter. Thank you all for watching. And we'll be back at 7 p.m. So make See sure you. you tune in.